This video was brought to you by the Critical Language Service. To learn more about our Arabic courses taught via telepresence, video conferencing, and Skype for academic groups, visit our website at www.criticallanguageservice.com. Al Mustar and Verb Patterns. Here's a question for we. Can we predict the form of Mustar? In many cases, yes, we can, according to the pattern of the verb. In lesson 4, we presented the concept of verb patterns, remember? And you saw four of these patterns, which some English grammarians and dictionaries call form 1, 2, 3, and 5. You know that the stem vowels of form 1 verbs are unpredictable and must be memorized. Form 1 masadr also do not follow a fixed pattern, though there are a few common areas. Hence, the masadr of each form 1 verb must be memorized. Yay! Each of other forms has a fixed masdar pattern that is regular and predictable, with rare exceptions in a few high-frequency verbs. Bummer. Common form 1. Masdar patterns. Al-fa'l. This pattern is the simplest and most common masdar of form 1. For example, you have ya'kul, he eats, and yarqus, he dances. Al-akil is masdar ya'kul eating or to eat yarqus we have mazdaruhu arraqus to dance dancing other common patterns are al-fa'l al-fa'l and al-fa'l similar to the first pattern these three masadir show slight vowel variations namely the kasra and sukun dhamma sukun and fatha fatha example we have ya'mal he works yaskun he lives, yeshrab, he drinks, yahfud, he memorizes. Masadr for yamal is al-amal, to work, working. Al-sakan, to live, living. Al-shurb, to drink, drinking. And al-hafud, um, memorize, memorizing. To memorize, memorizing. Notice the vowel, uh, sorry, the vowel change for each uh, masdar depending on its pattern. العمل السكن الشرب الحفظ Learning masadr by listening to them, not reading them, will help you internalize and recall them. Another form 1 pattern, الفعول In this pattern, the short dhamma vowel in the first syllable and the long vowel wa in the second syllable echo each other. We have يشعر بي to feel, uh, sorry, he feels يحصل على he gets he obtains يقبل accepts and مصدر for يشعر بي الشعور بي accept uh, sorry feeling uh, to feel يحصل على الحصول على uh, to get to obtain obtaining getting uh, يقبل القبول acceptance to accept Another exciting pattern is الفعالة. This pattern is common among activity verb. Note the kasra vowel in the first syllable. We have يدرس. He studies. And the masdar is الجراسة. Uh, studying. To study. يكتب. He writes. الكتابة. To write or writing. يقرأ. He reads. القراءة. Is um, re uh, reading or to read. Yesbah to swim or sorry he is swimming yeah he swims Asibaha is Mazdar to swim swimming the last variable pattern in form one is al well actually two we have al faal as in al dhahab al dhahab ila from yadhhabu ila he goes to 
going to to go to al faal and the other one is al maf'ila al maf'ila i love writing in arabic it's just so pretty al maf'ila sorry so we have al ma'rifa al maf'ila uh, knowledge to know and ya'rif is he knows and these two verbs have less common Muslim patterns okay al fa'al al maf'ila and this is form 1 continued and yeah this is the last of it so yay form 2 form 2 is highly regular it has two syllables and it's al It has two syllables. The first one begins begins sorry with ta, and second one begins with ya, long vowel. Notice that form two verbs have a shadda or a double consonant. Okay, for example, we have Yudarris, he teaches Yudarris, and Mazdar is a Tadrij, Tadris, teaching or to teach. Yusawar, uh, and to photograph, and the Mazdar is Al Taswir, photography or taking pictures. Easy. Form 3 Al Mufa'ala. Form 3 verbs and masdar have a distinctive alif. The verb yusafir does not use the regular masdar pattern. It is a rare exception for this form. We always have one. So let's look at the patterns of uh, mufa'ala. We have yushahid, he watches, and mufa'ala, al masdar is al mushahada. Yuhadir, he lectures. To lecture, lecturing is al muhadara. And as you can see, Yusafir ila does not take a regular mufa'ala form. It's a safar ila. This is the exception. Form 5. Form 5 is al tafa'ul. Al tafa'ul. Al tafa. So let's look at examples of al tafaul. We have al takharruj, which is master of yatakharraj. He graduates, he graduates or graduated. So al master is uh, to graduate, graduation. Al tadakkur, um, to remember, remembering, he remembers. And we have yatakallam. Yatakallam has two possible. Uh, Mazdar patterns. The first one is more commonly used, like al kalam, al kalam, speaking, talking, even though uh, does not fit the pattern at the fa'al. The kalam fits the pattern more, but al kalam is commonly used, most commonly used. Form 8 al ifti'al. a pretty form al iftial this pattern has a ta but its position between the second and third root consonant and by root consonant we mean the Alif, fa, ta, ayn, alif, lam. These are all root consonants. So the second one would be fa. Well, that makes sense because it comes after the first one, which is alif. So this is the second, and this is the third root consonant. Okay, now look at these verbs. Verb one, verb two. Pick out the roots of these two verbs, then look at the shared syllable pattern. So the root of 
يستمعوا إلى listens to is س ما ع سين عين ميم and for يمتحن ميم ح نون Okay, now let's see what they have in common. We have يستمعوا يا فتحة and يمتحنوا يا فتحة Okay, there is a ta here. Promise. يستمعوا Same here. ت And كسرة under the second root consonant it's basically the same word no it's not but it's they have the same syllable pattern okay so again look at these two words يستمع يمتحن and notice how they have same syllable pattern like here we have يا فتحة يا فتحة then we have the first letter of the root فا instead of فا we have سا here and ما here ميم then we have تا فتحة تا فتحة عين the عين root placement word ميم حا and then we have the final letter of the root عين نون Okay, now look at how we applied the sama'a root to the ifti'al pattern. Yep, this is sa, meem, and ayn. And notice the ta, part of the pattern. That is after the second and, uh, root consonant and before the third. Same goes for imtihan. We have ma, ha, noon, and also we have ta part of the root. I have a question for you. Knowing that al imtihan means the test, can you guess what yamtahan means? Yamtahan. Give up? Okay. So, يمتحن means to take the test, just like الاستماع means listening and يستمع إلى means to listen to or is listening to. المصدر والإضافة While it's a part of the verb system, the master behaves grammatically like a noun. So, it can be a subject, object, or predicate of a sentence, or it can be the object of a preposition, as this, these examples show. As a subject, we have السفر بالأتوبي صعب Traveling by bus is difficult Oh yeah As a predicate لا أحب السباحة في الشتاء I don't like swimming in the winter But who swims in the winter? As a noun أحسن هواية بالنسبة لي هي الرقص Well, it's not It's exercise, but okay And lastly, as an object of a preposition هل تأكل قبل الذهاب إلى الصف؟ Do you eat before going to class? Well, I think we should. It takes like an hour. We noted before that المصدر is normally definite. And in these examples we have seen so far. المصدر have all had ألف لام. But al-masdar can also occur in an idafa, and in fact, it must be the first term in an idafa. If its action is carried out on the on an object. Okay, that makes sense. For example, the verbs yaqra and yaktub usually involve reading and writing something. Ta. In order to express this something with a masdar, we use an idafa. If you don't understand it, read it again. So, for writing the homework, we say... كتابة الواجب 
literally the writing of the homework. Writing the homework. Kitaba is master. Writing. So we have Kitaba is a master, and as you can see, it's in Idafa. It's the first word of in the Idafa, and the second one has the Alif Lam, just like a proper Idafa. So Kitaba to Wajib, writing the homework, literally the writing of the homework. Next example we have watching television, literally the watching of television. So it's Mushahadat. Did you guess it? Did you guess it? Mushahadat Al Tilfaz. As always, Mushahada is one, well, not always in this section. Mushahada is the um, Mazdar, and Mushahada Tilfaz is an Idafa, hence the Alif Lam in Al Tilfaz.